There, there are also a ton of references. So let me just explain this right here. You've got views. So these are views would be ways to display it with preset filters. So for example, I can just say, give me all the ones that are open orders, and it does an automatic filter there. And uh, these are references. So think of these, I think in, in Bond 5 it was called specific or something like that. Daniel, what was it called? It's been a long time since I've seen Bond 5. Specific, yeah. Specific. Okay, so if you wanted to go to specific sessions that were display sessions, you could go through here, and you can see here you have a lot of new options for looking things up. So an example would be the lines monitor session, which is a very nice session. So um, it lists all the POs. You know, where where they're shipping from, where they're bought from, what warehouse they were received in, uh, plan receipts, uh, actual receipt dates, and so on. You can even go from here, you can even, you see up the top it says the warehouse order that was processed for this purchase order is at a status of put away. But if I actually wanted to look at the warehouse order that's uh, linked to this purchase order, all I have to do is click open object here and it tells me uh, what the status of that warehouse order is. Okay, so the bottom line is there, there are uh, views that are pre-set up in the system for things that you would normally do. So those are all pre-set. Uh, also, you have these easy filters, which I'll get into in a second. Uh, you have the references, which are things that you can look up from here. And you have what's called action. So before you had a specific menu that just was a hodgepodge of things, you know, some, some things were processing sessions, some things were lookup sessions, and so on. What they've done here is they've actually separated uh, references, which are lookups, from actions, which are processing sessions. And they've also set it up so that if you have a next step that you need to do, uh, that you can just click on the button here, and it will do that step. So a good example there would be you have a PO that you want to release it to warehousing, or you want to approve the PO, you'll actually see an option for that up here listed along the menu here. 